So I predicted a victory by turn 225. I think we're about 15 turns away, so hopefully we can get there. I mean, things are looking pretty good, but I, I don't know what things are going to pop up before then. I mean, one of the things that could pop up is the fact that the German capital has like 90 city defense, which is totally possible uh, because Athens is at like, well, it's at 67. It's slowly going down, which is really how we're starting to finally make some progress here. But uh, hopefully we don't see the same thing from Germany. It's not a huge deal if we do, but it's just going to kind of suck a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. Those that Caravel better leave. He does not want to. Don't do it, man. Do not do it. You don't know what's happening. And then uh, I'm sending this battleship over towards the American capital because he's pretty much one of the last things we need to do. I don't know if he's going to be the last city that we take or what. But either Athens or I think we'll take Athens now. Yeah, we're going to start moving in pretty much right away. So there we go. Um, I don't know. Let's see here. How far can you move? You can't really move that far. Do we do we care? I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it. What do we see? Okay, 61 city defense. That is not as bad as Athens, so that's good. That is very good. Now I only have a few battleships that can attack. Luckily I can avoid I can avoid the encampment, but we can start doing quite a bit of damage now. Um Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll just back away. There we go. Old Civ 5 strategies that I used to use. Yeah, I can't upgrade you, but actually next turn we might be able to take him down. Wish I would have upgraded this frigate when I had the chance, but I, I didn't, didn't get that opportunity. Okay, so I'm gonna get the copper here. Uh, I think I want to play a little bit risky and just move in on Athens, like right now. Yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, because we're we're taking down the walls, which is making each one of our strikes kind of work a lot better. Okay, so you're gonna move there. Hopefully, I don't use it lose anything, but you know if I do. Whatever. Come around this way. Um, atomic bombs, I don't think we need to worry about as much anymore. I was considering rushing them. But, uh, like, for a split second in the last video, I was like, man, maybe I should have just rushed Atomic Theory. Get that Manhattan Project. But I, I don't I don't think that's going to be the case. I'll think, I think I'm going to be okay. Come over here. You're going to have to relax. And, uh, yeah, you're supposed to stay inside of Kyoto, I thought. Yes, confirm placement. Counter spy, I guess, against science? I guess? You actually need to do a lot of counter spies. I'm worried about the whole es espionage system late game in a, in a deity game. Because there are so many counter spy, you know, options. A little bit scary. All those options are a little bit scary. Okay, uh, can I not? Oh, there we go. Keep getting food in production, baby. Man, this has got to be, I, I I have to say, I'm definitely disappointed in my cities so far. In terms of production and food, they just haven't done anything. In terms of production and food, like, growth, everything, you know, we I, I guess that's just going to be a thing in our archipelago maps. Where, are you serious? I don't know why barbarians are still popping up everywhere. I'm going to pass on this guy, we've got enough admirals. All right, so let me see if I can take this city over right now. That would be pretty crazy if I can. Maybe not with a pikeman. Yeah, probably not with a pikeman. Okay, so I won't be able to do it now. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll take care of this scout with the pikeman. There is no, like, automa automatic builds with the builders anymore, so that, uh... I, I kind of wish there was, even though I never did it in Civ V... In this scenario, I, pr I probably would have. Okay, good. So, you're pretty much dead. I did one attack there, and now I can just walk in. And we can actually just move the artillery over. There we go. So, I just boosted a whole bunch of things. Population 14. As long as amenities isn't, like, terrible right now, everything is going to be okay. Research lab. Oh, jeez. I don't want to keep choosing production for you, so... Just, just build something. Promotions. Jeez. Our promotions have been just such a joke. It's crazy. Come on, man. This is ridiculous, Madrid. This is ridiculous. This is redonkulous. You've been holding on to Catholicism for far too long. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off this way. We can now use the infrastructure to our advantage. Um... 
Yeah, so we're going to confirm that placement. I guess... I don't even know if I'm doing that right, whatever I'm doing. I'm just trying to move past it, pretty much. I'm just trying to be like, okay, go away. Daddy doesn't care right now. Okay, so we take, we for sure take the, the German capital, which uh, next up means we attack America. I It's going to take some time to get over there. If I can you if I can just maybe attack it without hmm without using my ships that would speed this process up I might be this is an unnecessary risk but I'm gonna do it anyways there okay I took it anyways I actually feel bad here he's giving me his stick. He's giving me his stick. Now, I'm not saying that's better than... Por favor, ayúdame. Por qué? He didn't say ayúdame, but... That's still, Felipe, I think, his, his death screen is a little better. But Germany's pretty cool, too. I love when Germany gets mad. Because, like, he legit... Like, he's fuming. His shoulders are moving up and down. He's... <laughs> you could tell. Like, ooh, he's furious. But, I, yeah. Anyways. So Germany's dead. This is perfect. That That is the exact risk that I wanted to take. Obviously, we have to keep this city. And, um, geez, you didn't have, you're not, you're barely even working all these farm tiles that you've built. Okay, so the reason why this is perfect is because now I can just send the battleships this way. I don't think this frigate is going to need to upgrade. I don't think so. This guy can come back and heal, though. Would we need him? Eh, we've got one melee boat. I think that's going to be enough. So he can sit there and heal. I'm going to start just picking like things that take a long time to build. Ooh, that is right. All these city-states might be annoying. I should also send over one melee unit if I can. I mean, it might be a little bit too late for that. Hmm. Dang. Wow, we can go over here now. That's That's pretty cool. Why wasn't that working? We'll do it later then. Okay, so you stay there. Uh, how long would this take? I'm pretty sure we would have had it handled. Hey, what way are you going? Is there a pathway from there? Oh, because battleships can go around, right? I think that might be the case. Oh, that's still going to take 20 turns, though. No, 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 no. We don't have time for that. Let's have everybody heal. I will send a few infantry units over there. But not too many. Again, I have assumed I have assumed that more than likely it's a coastal city. I actually don't even know if that's his capital. I'm I'm also assuming that too. Now, I do have a scout here. It would be hilarious if I take over the city with a scout. I might try to do it just to just to see. Just to see if it can be done. Okay, so hopefully no barbarians. Please leave me alone, barbarians. Can I do this with just two cities? Because Washington, I think, is so far behind in technology and things like that, I, I, I believe I can. Okay, research lab. Neighborhood. Do you even need it? Yeah, you do need a neighborhood. Okay, let's just place, replace the farm tile. It's interesting, in order to get more housing, a lot of the time you have to replace farm tiles. Not all the time, but that's kind of what we tend to choose. And uh, that's just interesting because it's like, okay, I'm going to have the housing, but now I don't have the food growth to move as fast. Okay, I'm going to try to get him towards the front lines. This is a very Danny Elfman song. Just wanted to throw that out there. Very uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. To me, that's what it sounds like. Okay, we've got we've got reinforcements coming. Oh no, not a warrior! You really needed to stop me for. Hey, you're willing to give me all this stuff? It doesn't matter. I'll I'll just deny all this stuff. I don't think I need to peace out for a domination victory. Do we know yet? That'd be very interesting. I also had no idea that this was a thing. I wait. So you can do this, right? I don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, what, what are you at? 27. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for you. Declare a colonial war. 
So this game is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already declared on uh, on America a lot of times. Um, can I just... I don't know if I can take you down right now. Oh my goodness. Uh, wait a second. Yes. Game's over unless they make me peace out for all these cities. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah, I predicted 30 turns, um, and I did it in 20 turns. That That's what I'm saying, though. Well, and we, we knew that. I mean, if you're used to Civ 5, if you've seen uh, domination campaigns that I've done in Civ 5, especially naval domination campaigns, it's it's crazy. Like, I've been, I remember playing as Denmark in Civ 5 and being super far behind until, like, the last 50 turns where I just took over the entire world. So... That's clearly, obviously, going to be... A, I mean, I think we all knew that, but that's going to be a thing in Civ 6 is... You have a strong enough navy, you can just go nuts and take over, take over everything. But cool, very glad that I won as Japan. Uh, still getting really low scores, though. There's no pleasure in having nothing to do. Uh, the fun is having lots to do and nothing... And not doing it. Um, that is a very philosophical thing to say. And uh, obviously, you went over Crack Lord's head. Yeah, I don't think there's really much for me to look at. I mean, total units killed might be kind of interesting. Is that me? Or, like, are you showing me that I killed? Oh, yeah. I almost killed. That's kind of cool. I almost killed 125 units throughout this game. I'm wondering if there's a total number of combats. Yeah, this this wasn't as interesting. Total cities founded. Uh, that is one thing is... I have to say, a little bit disappointed by... Oh, he took his glasses off. Of the United States of America, your nation will go far. Wow, that's very depressing. That is very depressing, sir. And we found a, a natural wonder, somehow. Um, I definitely have to say, really, you know, kind of disappointed that there, that more of the, the land wasn't settled. Uh, again, that is... That was very common in Prince Difficulty for Civilization V, so I, I it's it's safe to say that on a, on a deity that I should be, or I'm sorry, on a difficulty that I should be playing on, uh, most of this stuff would probably be colonized. But the maps do seem big, um, even even for deity, it would be kind of a stretch to see. I, I don't know. I I did take out civs and pretty early on, I was you know I took out Spain very early and then I took out Scythia pretty early, so. You know, maybe those civs staying around, even on Prince, they might have... Definitely Spain. Uh, also Scythia, too. But either way, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like the maps might be a little bit big, even for Deity. It's kind of how I'm feeling, because there's just huge chunks of land that wasn't colonized. That weren't colonized at all. And I've been noticing that in all of the Civ game, Civ games that I've been playing, is that there's a lot of a lot of empty space here. But, uh, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the series. I definitely had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, first Domination Campaign... So, I, I'm, I'm enjoying kind of going after all these victory types here in Civilization VI. My overall thoughts of Japan, I, I feel like I didn't do as good of a job orchestrating the districts. And, uh, you know, traditionally Japan, in Civilization VI, they should be built in, in very tightly compacted areas because they get uh, double the, the adjacency bonuses or, or things like that. But I didn't kind of focus too much on that, especially on an island map where this is where Japan was supposed to be pretty successful. We were very successful, obviously, fighting. Of course, I did forget that 90% of the time I was getting amazing combat bonuses along the coast or, or in shallow water. But um, in terms of building districts tight, didn't really do a good job of that. I think we were in a bad location. Kyoto didn't start off in the best of locations. Our, our starting island wasn't very good. It would, it would have been interesting if we started off on one of the bigger land masses. But, uh, but overall, definitely Japan is perfect for a domination campaign like this. I mean, this was this was no, this is no problem. It was it was a pretty simple thing, especially when we got those late game naval units. It was we were just rolling over civs one by one. But uh, but anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.